I had many of you guys reach out to me and ask me for the Charles Pfeiffer WFAA interview in full. Um, I do have part two I'm going to share with you right now. I cannot find part one. If anybody could find part one anywhere on the internet, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you're having a great day and let's go ahead and get that interview going for you now. First, I'm going to go ahead and play for you guys the interview that was aired as part of a news segment on WFAA, and then I will go ahead and play what seems to be a more unedited version that includes a whole lot more and, of course, less newscaster commentary. It still gives me nightmares. Um, you see your face? I see everything. Everything. I see her laying there in the floor. Charles Pfeiffer says he loved his girlfriend's daughter, four-year-old Eliana Wright, and he never hurt her, but he's accused of helping kill her. Today, Pfeiffer spoke exclusively to News 8's Tanya Iser against the advice of a lawyer because he says we don't have the whole story. I love Lily like she was my own. I miss her every day. Uh, still can't quite believe that this has happened. On the day four-year-old Liliana Wright died last month, Court records show she was hit with a belt and a bamboo stick after drinking her 18-month-old brother's juice. She was lifted by the throat and shoved against the wall. She was bound by the wrists and thrown into a closet. The abuse lasted for hours until her little body could take no more. Liliana's mother, Jerry Casada, acknowledged to Grand Prairie Police she took part in the beating, but laid much of the blame on Charles Pfeiffer, her on-again, off-again boyfriend. I didn't do it. There's no way. Anybody that knows me knows there's no way I could do this to a child. Pfeiffer says he came into Liliana's life after his release from prison in September. He served time on drug convictions. Lily, she, you know, I couldn't play a game without her being right here. Liliana was born in prison and lived with her paternal grandparents until her mother's release when she was two. Was she afraid of her mom? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was afraid of her. She uh, done her best to do whatever she was told. In the month before her death, a CPS special investigator saw Liliana. She had bruises on her face, yet no action was taken to remove her from the home. And on that awful day when Liliana died, Pfeiffer says he was in a heroin-induced stupor for much of the day. I woke up to her saying, lucky help me, she's not breathing. They were in the hall, she had her laying on her back. Uh, and that's whenever I really noticed how bad her face was beat up. Did the CPS system fail Liliana? I believe they did, yes. Yes, I believe they did, miserably. He says he failed Liliana too. There were so many turning points that this could have went different. Um, and I'm not one to, to really talk because I was one of them. I should have been able to change something. It, uh, it's heartbreaking. These are the words that Liliana's paternal grandmother wrote in an effort to get Liliana away from her mother. She says, I pray the court will protect our granddaughter from what she is going through and what she is facing. The judge did not heed her words. Little Liliana was with her mother until the day she died. People have told me since this started that, uh, uh, you know, young kids won't, won't take up for, or won't lie for anybody telling them to, but that's just bullshit, so. Did DC have bruises at all? No, no, uh, never once seen a bruise on DC, man. Nothing that, that you know, um, couldn't have been explained by something that I seen myself. You know, I mean, he's typical, typical baby. He ran and, and tried to jump and play just like his sister did. So, what would you say to the people who say, I mean, you're right now, you're framed as essentially the guy who murdered a four year old little girl. Right. What would you say to the people that believe that? Um, I just say that they don't know me and then it'll come out in court. Um, I would ask them to uh, uh, just keep an open mind. I mean, I, I know what it looks like. I know how it started, but they don't know the other side of it. I wish I could put the other side of it out here, but I can't do that. I'm not going to take a chance on helping her, if anything else. But she um, really did blame you. Oh, no. I mean, she, no. she did well, acknowledge it, that she had some involvement, but she pretty much made you sound like the bad guy. At first, I held him hostage. I don't know if y'all know that. That's what she told the investigators. And then turn right back around. It's, I can't put nothing out there, man. I wish I could. Uh, I didn't do it. 
there's no way anybody that knows me knows there's no way I could do this to the child. Um, I mean, I've had some violence in my past, but if you look at it, it's been protecting other people. I might have brought it too far. I'll give them that, but it's never just been outright violence, and it's never, ever, ever been against the kid, child, or anything like that. Never will be. Did the CPS system fail Liliana? I believe they did, yes. Yes, I believe they did, miserably. And why do you say that? Well, uh, I know uh, uh, Craig and Eliza had been in touch with them several times. Uh, I'm pretty sure Brian was in touch with them. Um, and I mean, uh, all this, even before I got out of prison, I got out of prison six and a half months ago, seven months ago. So, I mean, how long does it take to find out something's wrong? And Especially Brian, whenever, I mean, why didn't they know that she had kids that were taken in Chicago? I mean, if <laughs> I, I try to look at it from their point of view, I mean, uh, if, if you've already had Hold kids taken. Okay, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. If you've already had kids taken in, in another state, for beating them up. And I mean, that's how I understood it. Why would you overlook something like that? How could you overlook something like this? Uh, well, this, two of the CPS workers have been fired. One has resigned um, over what happened in Liliana's case. And the sad part is Liliana is not the first child really? to die in these sorts of circumstances. And um, it seems like the CPS system miserably like you said, miserably failed yeah. this little girl. Yeah. I had heard it was a couple more, but that's, I mean, I don't know what they need to do. They need to, they need to do something different. That's for sure. Uh, at the same time, it's, it's, I mean, I know they got a rough job and, and I mean, I've known Jerry for years and I had no clue she had kids in Chicago, you know, that they had been taken for abuse. Uh, I mean, I don't know, you know, what, what type of stuff CPS has to find out things like that. But it seems like that would be something that they would have to know, you know. Well, in Liliana's case, again, they saw her, the special investigators saw her about a month before she died and saw the bruises on her face. And they, he told the CPS worker about it. And Liliana apparently was taken in for some sort of exam. Did you know about that? The no. exam, some sort of exam where the hospital said, yeah, there's evidence of abuse and still really? nothing was done. This is the first I've heard about that. So did, so Jerry hadn't mentioned any of that then? No. Wow. Um, no, I had no idea about that. I was, I was under the impression that uh, CPS happened like two months ago, two and a half months ago, something like that. Well, I guess, well, it would have been, you mean two and a half months before Liliana right, died? Right, before, yeah, I mean, been locked up for about a month, so I guess it'd be about three months ago. Three and a half months. What, what were you yeah. in prison for? Uh, drugs. I mean, that's really all I've ever went to jail for was drugs. Uh, I've had a drug problem for a long time. It's been my way to cope with lots of stuff, you know. Uh, lived a real fast life whenever I worked overseas and whatnot, but. How is the drug, how has, you're, obviously you're in jail right now, so you can't right. use heroin. Right. How has your withdrawal been? Um, I had a pretty rough withdrawal, but I mean, it only lasted about uh, 10, 11 days. I've been over it for quite a while, so. What, what, tell me about that withdrawal. Um, I mean, typical withdrawal, uh, stomach problems, uh, a little bit of vomiting, that's about it. How, how much heroin before you were put in here, how much, and I find it interesting that you started off with the pain pills, because that's not the first time I've heard that, that people go from the pain pills and then eventually they end up on heroin. How much heroin were you using a day? Um, before this happened, uh, probably about three quarters of gram. Uh, it, Is that a lot? I'm, I'm Not really. I mean, there's been times in my life where I've used a lot more than that, you know, and that's one of the reasons the withdrawals wasn't quite so bad this time. And do, do you shoot up? Yeah. Can you show us your... Okay. Wow. So that's from the... Did you get it? Can you show you, them one You more can time? see it right here. Wow. I don't even like to give blood, so... <laughs> that's what I was doing a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no. Uh, there's been a lot of things happened in my life that never... Never really made me want to, to stop doing drugs, but 
I feel a little different this time. Um, you think you're going to get out of this? Do I think I'm going to get out of it? I mean, do you think, I mean, you know, she, again, she has, well, she also has, you know, said she was involved in it too, but again, she's pretty much laid it off on you. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't involved in it. She, she's just a liar. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say too much about her and I'm, I'm not trying to bad mouth her, but that's, that's just the truth about it. She's a liar. Uh, and I plan on fighting it to the end. I don't plan on making any deals. I don't plan on none of that. That's not even an option for me. This didn't happen. It wouldn't be fair to Lily, and it sure isn't fair to me. Uh, she's a liar, and I plan on proving that somehow or another. What would you say about Jerry? I mean, about what needs to happen to Jerry? <sighs> you know? <laughs> what needs to happen to a mom that would do this to her child? I can't say. I'm biased in that either way. I, I'd like to say... Uh, uh, I'd like to say the worst of the worst at the same time. She was a real good friend of mine. Uh, I don't, I can't think of anything that could possess anybody to do something like this. I just can't, it's, it's still hard for me to, to even to, to get around. I think about it and it upsets my stomach. Uh, I don't know. What, uh, what charges do you currently have? Um, they have me with injury to a child uh, with severe bodily injury. So you don't have the, it's um, not a cat murder, it's an injury no, to a child. No, it's just injury to a child right now. Um, it's still very, it's a very it's, serious charge. Yeah, I mean, you go to prison serious. for the rest it's, of your life. It's first degree felony, I believe. Uh, uh, five to 99, it carries a long, long sentence to a child. Which, which, it's still hard for me to, to even to, to get around. I think about it and it upsets my stomach. Uh, I don't know. Which, uh, what charges do you currently have? Um, they have me with injury to a child, uh, with severe bodily injury. So you don't have the, it's um, not a cat murder. It's an injury no, to a child. No, it's just injury to a child right now. Um, it's still, very, it's a very it's, serious it's, charge. Yeah, I mean, it's you go real to prison serious. The rest it's, of your life. it's first degree felony, I believe, uh, uh, five to 99. It carries a long, long sentence. Uh, but no, nah, there's, there's no way I'm, I'm fighting it. Anybody that knows me knows that there's no way I could have done this. Uh, you know, if I'd have been caught with a bunch of drugs and uh, throw my hands up, you know, uh, and something violent, it would have been, you know, protecting somebody else. It's, it, it always has been, uh, whether it be myself, whether it be one of my friends, family, never a child, man. Kids are going to be kids no matter what. Um, have you seen the arrest warrant? What the police say happened? Um, no, no, I haven't. I've, I've, uh, I got to read hers online through some news channel, I believe. And it, it made me sick, the type of stuff that was in it. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of it's not even close to being accurate, but I'm, I'm not even going to go into that. I don't know. You know, my lawyer, my lawyer told me not to even do this. So we haven't confessed anything. Well, so that's, no, that's and, a good, <laughs> and, and I can't, you know, and I, I can't give information I don't have either. Right. You know, well, I mean, um, I'll walk you through what she says happened, and I understand if you can't comment on it, but I'll walk you through it. I don't, I don't unfortunately, I don't have a copy of the affidavit here with me, and I can't right. pull it up on my phone because the, the cell service is bad. Um, you know, she claimed that uh, you guys beat Liliana with a belt and with bamboo, um, and then later in the day that uh, she started throwing up, and I guess that's when she was, sorry, I can't even read my own handwriting, that she was ended up in the closet and then she claims she left at some point and then returned and y'all shot heroin and that Liliana was tied up and put in a, a, a closet and then bound like with a ligature with the coat rod to where she couldn't sit down and then claims that you forced her to eat like put Pedialyte down her throat and she was throwing up and then y'all put her back in the closet and she claims you threw her up against the wall. I mean she claims a, I mean She's, yeah. she's saying she was involved, but she's putting most of it on you. Right, yeah, no. Did any of that happen? No, no, none of that happened. Or, you know, none of that that I know happened. I was uh, comatose pretty much. That whole day I woke up to, uh, to everything going on. Um, so you woke up to the police in your house? Or what'd you wake uh, up I, to? No, I woke up to her saying, lucky help me, she's not breathing. Uh, I called 911, um, tried to give CPR. Uh, and that's pretty much where my story starts. Um, and that's so how, how long were you passed out? I had been passed out, uh, most of the evening. Um, I took, uh, about 125 milligrams of Seroquel and did a, a big shot. I don't, I don't remember doing the shot with her. 
as you can see, the clip ends just a bit abruptly, but that is what I have for you. I really appreciate your time today, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for supporting the graveyard.